the IBM 7030 was IBM's first attempt at competing in the supercomputer arena, which in the 1960s was owned by several other companies, primarily controlled data corporations. There was a number of interesting stories around this. It was to be a technological breakthrough. Eugene Amdahl, who uh, was the chief architect of the IBM 360 family, was one of the chief architects of this, not the only one. He had a disagreement with the design team on the proper approach to meeting the government's requirements for supercomputing. He warned them that the architecture that they were selecting would not meet the performance requirements that the government asked for. As it turns out, he was right. One of the interesting stories about this was Thomas Watson, who headed IBM at the time, Thomas Watson Jr., when he was advised that the system would not meet the requirements, made some interesting decisions. The system had been sent to Los Alamos National Laboratories in New Mexico. It was installed. They began to process information using the real atomic data for work being done there. It could not achieve the performance specifications that the contract required. When Watson was told about this, he said, tear the machine down, bring it back to New York. We won't charge the government any more money until we meet the requirements. The technicians and engineers started to tear it down, and the engineers and scientists at Los Alamos stopped them said it works faster than anything we've ever had before, please leave it here. Watson agreed to have it left there. They calculated the percentage difference between contract requirements and actual performance. Watson rebated both profit and development costs to the government. The machine was eventually reworked and redesigned to meet and exceed the government contract requirements. But the ethical approach that Watson demonstrated in rebating the cost to the government was something that many companies should and we hope do follow.